The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue seas Fields of green and sandy yellow beaches too The island also has loads of trains and railway lines But who's that? Just puffing round the track It's a tank engine that in his name told us he will keep you to me Friends working together to make anything just work Cause when an obstacle comes along A train wreck makes it worthless When friendship and teamwork is on your side Nothing's impossible with Thomas and his friends It was a splendid morning on the island of Sodor. James the Red Engine was shuffling happily down the tracks to the station. The Fat Controller had a surprise for him, Thomas and Percy too. When James arrived, Thomas, Percy and the Fat Controller were already there. Good morning James, Thomas tooted. Good morning Thomas, said James. I'm glad you're all here said the Fat Controller. A new engine has arrived on the island. Its name is Dudley. Thomas and Percy were excited, but James wasn't. He looked suspicious. Where have I heard that name before? He thought to himself. Just then, they all heard a whistle and Dudley raced into the platform. He was a big black tender engine with six driving wheels. He looked very smart. He almost looked similar to Packer. Hello there, Dudley, whistled Thomas. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Thank you, whistled Dudley. James eyed Dudley suspiciously. Then suddenly, a stray cat walked by the traps. Cat! cried Dudley. The cat screamed and Dudley chased after it. He reached as he went. James gasped. Bust my buffers! It's him! It's my stupid engine! It's him! I might hear it, James! Of Percy. Not you, Percy, you idiot! Yes, James. It's Dudley! He's that stupid engine who's a real basic for that stupid tough puppy cartoon! Wait, I'm confused, said Thomas. How did Dudley become a basic for your cartoon? Well, said James. A few years ago, the animator from America went to a heritage railway on holiday. While he was there, he saw Dudley barking at a diesel express engine. The animator forgets all about me and did a cartoon about him instead. To him, it's funnier. Okay, we understand that clearly, James, said the fat controller. But why does Dudley act like a dog? <laughs> From what I heard, he hit his head on a piece of wood after he was built. Oh, I see. Just then, Dudley came back. He was very tired. Ah, I miss that cat, panted Dudley. James hated Dudley, not as much as Graham. He wanted Dudley to leave the island for good. Suddenly, an idea flew into his funnel. He looked at Peter, the art manager. Psst, Peter, James whispered. You have that chew toy in your pocket, right? Why, yes, James, replied Peter, confused. It's for my friend's bulldog, Spanky. Well, from it. No excuses, replied James. OK, said Peter. So he threw the chew toy in the air. Oh, chew toy, cried Dudley, and raced after it as fast as he could. Peter! cried James. You were supposed to throw it away from Sodor. Well, you should have told me that in the first place, fumed Peter. <sighs> Good point, 
Sight James. Meanwhile, at the Diesel Works, Diesel 10 was planning another evil plan to take over Sodor with Splatter, Dodge and Professor C. What's your plan this time, boss? asked Professor C. Well, Professor, said Diesel 10, last night I stole some mind control chips from Finn when he wasn't looking, and with its superpowers, we will control all the trucks on Sodor, who will then use to steal everything on Sodor. And nothing will stand in our way. But Diesel 10 was wrong. Suddenly the chew toy that Peter threw flew right into Dodge. Oi, what's that? He asked the splutter. Suddenly Dudley came into view. That's not yours, he cried. <coughs> Diesel, Dudley said. You have something that doesn't belong to you. Here, cried Diesel 10. Take my mind control chips. I surrender. <laughs> Not that, of Dudley. The chew toy. Oh, right, that, chuckled Diesel 10. Then he started to laugh. And so did Dudley. But as Dudley laughed, Diesel 10 snuck quietly away with the mind control chips. Wow. Dudley said to himself, what a weird diesel. Just then, the fat controller arrived on board James. Finn at Missile came along to help clear up the mess as well. What's going on here? The fat controller called out. Dudley clucked up courage. Oh, uh, long story. You see, my chew toy flew in here and I got it back and, uh, guess it's not that long of a story. I see. That's the moron who peed at my life, Finn! James said to Finn. And how exactly did you single-handedly capture the three of Sodor's most wanted diesels? Finn asked Dudley. The diesels are most wanted? Asked Dudley. Diesel 10 is always one step ahead of us, Finn said to the fat controller. This engine might just be the thing we need to even the playing field. Just then, Dudley saw his tender. Wah! There it is again! He cried. He started to chase his own tender, but wasn't watching where he was going and bumped into James. <laughs> Ow! cried James. You idiot! Oh, wait, said Dudley. False alarm, it's just a tender. Uh, or perhaps we should just keep looking, said a fat controller. Nonsense, replied Finn. All he needs is a little bit more training. Are you nuts? cried James. No, replied the fat controller sternly. I am controller of the railway, and I say you're gonna train half train, half mutt here, and get back those mind control chips. Hey, can Dudley have a cape or something? Asked Percy. Yeah, a cape would be cool, added Dudley. I'm a secret agent tender chaser of James, not a superhero like Percy here. Yeah, that iron and his stuff sure was fun, chuckled Percy, remembering the time he had his suit on. Anyways, continued James. I've learned how to speak 120 languages fluently, mastered all forms of martial arts, and my buffers are registered as lethal weapons. Maybe you should register your breath, growled Dudley. Stop it, cried Finn. Now Diesel 10 has escaped near the wharf. I want you two to work together to find the mind control chips and capture Diesel 10 before he takes over the island. In the name of the Sodal Railway, we're on it, Finn, said Dudley. It was night time when James and Dudley searched all around the wharf. Uh, this is the night spooky warehouse we've checked out, groaned Dudley. Are we done yet? Quiet, whispered James. When do I get to wear one of those cool spice suits or a cape, asked Dudley. I think a cape is a way to go. Stop talking, whispered James sternly. Stay behind me and don't chase your tender or bite your buffers. I've got everything under control. Wait, said Dudley. 
I don't think I could reach my buffers and just bite it. Well, said James, on a cartoon you do. And he explained all about it. Ah, oh, okay, replied Dudley. Just then, they heard a coupling sound. In a sump shot has been coupled up behind Dudley and James. This would never have happened if I had a cape, said Dudley. Just then, Diesel 10 came into view. I would like to be the first to welcome you two imbeciles to my mind control chip testing ground, Diesel 10 bellowed. When I hop my horn, I will control the minds of every truck on Sodor. The trucks will be troublesome, as always. They will push you and every other steam engine off the island, and then, okay, okay, we get it, interrupted James. Actually, I don't get it, said Dudley. Could he explain it to me again? Diesel 10 honked his horn loud and long, and then the trucks began to push James and Dudley down the line and out of the wharf. On, 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 they shouted. Help, cried the two engines. James was in a state of shock, so he didn't know what to think. And he couldn't ask for God, there was no brake van. Faster, faster, shouted the trucks. Suddenly, James saw the signal box and a siding up ahead. Then he saw the signalman dozing off. An idea flew into his funnel. Dudley, he cried, my whistle's not good enough to wake the signalman. I know I hate to tell you this, but you must howl now. Sure thing, James, replied Dudley. Dudley howled as loud as he could. Ow! The signalman woke up and saw James and Dudley racing down the track. So he quickly changed the points. The two engines hurdled into the siding. They biffed and bashed the buffers. The trucks' mind control chips bounced out of them. Oh, I feel so funky, said one of them. Keish Warren, cried Dudley. <laughs> Why do you say that? asked James as he chuckled. I'm part French poodle. Also, I kind of wanted some Keish Warren, <laughs> chuckled Dudley. Just then, Diesel 10 raced up. No! he cried. What have you two stupid engines done? I shall now plot my revenge! He bellowed. We shall make an awesome team! Cried Dudley. Now let's get me a cape and some quiche low and R. And even James had to smile a little bit. The next day, the Fat Controller praised James and Dudley. Well done, he said. You two are really brave and useful engines. Thank you, sir, smiled Dudley, and thanks for the cape. You're welcome, said the Fat Controller, and he walked away back into his office. Then Dudley spoke to James. Check it out, I got a cape, he smirked. What do you think? I think you should pay less attention to the cape and more attention to me. Of James, I'm training you, remember? Even though it's only for part time. But Dudley wasn't listening. It's red. It's a red cape. Hear it flapping? <laughs> Maybe it's not such a bad little guy, James said to himself. This just might work out. Then there was trouble. James didn't know that Dudley had been switched off the main line onto the loop. So he went all around and back into Napfoot Station, right behind James' tender. Oh, oh, sorry James, grunt Dudley. Oh, maybe not, grunt James. I'll uh, get back to the toy, shall I? Tease Thomas. <laughs>